So you need electromagnetic shielding and you've narrowed it down to aluminum and copper, but how do I know which one's right for my operation? Stick around and I'll explain everything you need to know. Hi, my name is Eric Himes and I'm the sales manager for industrial woven wire here at WS Tyler. Not only does reliable electromagnetic shielding protect vital electronics, but it has the potential to protect the user as well. But to ensure the electromagnetic shielding you put in place delivers the necessary level of protection, it's critical that you select the right material to craft the medium. Aluminum and copper are the most practical alloys for woven wire mesh shielding. But which one is right for me? WS Tyler has helped integrate woven wire into hundreds of applications for over 150 years. We've grown passionate about helping those interested in the material and understand its true capabilities. So in this video, we'll go over the definition of aluminum, the benefits of using aluminum woven wire, the definition of copper, the benefits of using copper woven wire, and what alloy might be right for the woven wire electromagnetic shielding in your operation. Aluminum is a naturally occurring alloy that exists in the periodic table of elements. Known to easily bond with other elements, aluminum is rarely found in its pure form naturally. But generally, WS Tyler weaves aluminum wire mesh out of 1100 aluminum, all clad 5056, and 5056 aluminum. Its ductility and flexibility allows aluminum woven wire to be formed and molded into various profiles with ease. This enables it to accommodate a wide range of electromagnetic shielding applications. As an electrical conductor, aluminum is extremely effective in absorbing and dispersing electromagnetic radiation waves. This effectively directs the electromagnetic energy and lessens the impact of the radiation. At the same time, aluminum's ability to conduct thermal energy works as an element of dispersing the heat that is generated when the electromagnetic wave comes into contact with the mesh. Since the shielding environment varies, I should also say that aluminum is highly resistant to corrosion. It forms an oxide layer that protects it from various environments, especially if there's high moisture. Another key benefit to aluminum is that it's non-magnetic. This is critical when magnetic interference is a concern, but optimal shielding is required. Copper is a woven wire alloy that has been used for thousands of years and is widely known for its reliable corrosion resistance. While it delivers high ductility, copper has a relatively low tinsel strength. Easy to form, copper woven wire is also known for its great thermal conductivity. First and foremost, copper is an excellent conductor of electricity. It's one of the best conductors in regards to woven wire alloys. Like aluminum, this allows copper mesh to absorb and redirect electromagnetic energy with high efficiency. This efficiency remains true even after the prolonged period of time. This is because copper is relatively durable, resisting deterioration and preserving its shielding capabilities. Again, like aluminum, copper lacks magnetic properties. This means that it is perfect for applications that rely on peak shielding performance, but can't afford magnetic interference. Also, Copper is known to form a smaller oxide layer, protecting it from corrosion. This allows the alloy to perform even when exposed to heavy moisture. Thermal conductivity should also be noted. This thermal conductivity works to disperse the heat that is created when the electromagnetic waves and the mesh interact with each other. Another big factor is that copper can be used in conjunction with other materials. This includes various coating and composite materials that can further improve the protection your woven wire shield provides. For those that are looking to implement shielding with a reduced impact on the environment, copper can be recycled and is environmentally friendly. The electrical conductivity shielding performance and corrosion resistance are key, the key factors making an alloy perfect for a shielding application. When it comes to electrical conductivity, copper provides superior functionality to aluminum. As a result, copper can better absorb and distribute electromagnetic energy. And for shielding performance, its ability to effectively negate electromagnetic energy places copper ahead of aluminum. Now, while both alloys can create an oxide layer to combat corrosion, copper offers a superior corrosion resistant property. This makes it the preferred alloy for outdoor and high moisture applications. But while electrical conductivity shielding performance and corrosion resistance are critical, the weight, cost, and formability of the two alloys 
must also be considered. Aluminum is significantly lighter than copper. In effect, it's one of the lightest alloys used in woven wire. This lightweight property can be critical to applications like aerospace and automotive, where weight is a big factor. So if you are concerned about weight, aluminum may be the preferred alloy, considering it still offers great shielding performance. And while copper offers superior performance, it also comes with a heftier price tag. When managing a large scale project with a budget restriction, aluminum should always be considered. Again, as shielding, performance is not that much different than copper. Additionally, copper is known to be a softer, easier to form material. This leaves aluminum as a less flexible and more delicate material. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out the contact us form so we can answer your specific question. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Eric Himes and I'll be seeing you around in the next video. Bye for now.